Let us pray as we prepare to hear from the Lord regarding Psalm 31. Heavenly Father, as we gather in the sacred space of your presence, our hearts are filled with anticipation and gratitude. We stand on the threshold of your word, ready to receive the timeless wisdom encapsulated in Psalm 31. Open our hearts, Lord, to the transformative power of your truth. Psalm 119 verse 18 says, Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. We echo this prayer, asking you to illuminate our minds and spirits that we may grasp the profound truths embedded in Psalm 31. Psalm 25 5 declares, Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Lord, be our guide as we navigate the verses of Psalm 31. Teach us the depth of your word, and may our hope be firmly anchored in you throughout this journey. Psalm 119, 1 and 5 proclaims, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. May the words of Psalm 31 serve as a radiant lamp illuminating our path and dispelling any darkness that may linger in our lives. Lord, prepare our hearts to receive the messages woven into the fabric of Psalm 31. May the words spoken today be more than mere sounds. May they be vessels carrying your divine wisdom, comfort, and guidance. As we delve into the rich tapestry of Psalm 31, may your Holy Spirit move among us, touching every heart, healing every wound, and igniting a flame of hope that cannot be extinguished. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, cherished friends, I am deeply honored to talk to you today, guided by the profound words of Psalm 31, verse 1. In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. In the tapestry of life, we often find ourselves traversing through diverse landscapes, encountering peaks of joy and valleys of challenge. The opening verse encapsulates the essence of seeking refuge in the divine, a universal yearning that resonates across cultures and times. As we embark on this journey together, let us delve into the timeless wisdom encapsulated in Psalm 31, exploring the refuge it offers, the assurance it provides, and the transformative power it holds. This sacred verse lays the foundation for a discourse that intertwines the threads of hope, inspiration, and spiritual fortitude, weaving a narrative that transcends the boundaries of circumstance. In the intricate tapestry of our lives, each of us bears witness to unique chapters filled with moments of triumph and tribulation. As we navigate the profound verses of Psalm 31, let me invite you into a personal reflection, a narrative that speaks to the very heart of seeking refuge and discovering hope in the midst of life's storms. Several years ago, during a season marked by unforeseen challenges and uncertainty, I found myself standing at a crossroads. The road ahead seemed daunting, shrouded in shadows that whispered doubt and fear. It was a time when the certainties I had clung to began to crumble, and the future appeared as a nebulous expanse, uncharted and unpredictable. In the depths of my despair, I turned to the timeless words of Psalm 31, verse 1. In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. The resonance of those words became a lifeline, an anchor grounding me amidst the tumultuous seas of adversity. It was in that vulnerable moment that I discovered the profound truth. Our refuge is not found in the absence of storms, but in the unwavering presence of the one who calms the tempest. As I grappled with the unknown, I witnessed a transformation within my spirit. In the quiet moments of prayer and contemplation, I found solace in the realization that my story was intricately woven into a grander narrative, a narrative guided by the hand of a compassionate and righteous God. This chapter, born from the crucible of personal experience, serves as an invitation. An invitation to explore the intersection of our stories and the eternal truths embedded in the sacred verses of Psalm 31. It is my hope that through the sharing of this personal journey, we can collectively embark on a quest to unearth the hidden treasures of resilience, hope, and unyielding faith that lie within each of us. Together, let us set the tone for an exploration into the transformative power of seeking refuge in the divine embrace when life's challenges seem insurmountable. In the opening verses of Psalm 31, we are beckoned into a sanctuary of trust and refuge where the psalmist's soul finds solace in the embrace of the divine. At its core, 
These verses encapsulate the profound theme of seeking refuge and entrusting one's well-being into the hands of God. The psalmist begins with a resolute declaration in Psalm 31.1, In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Here the word refuge carries a weight of profound meaning. It goes beyond a mere shelter. It embodies an unwavering trust, a conscious decision to seek safety and protection in the arms of the Almighty. In a world rife with uncertainties, the psalmist's plea echoes a universal cry, the yearning for a sanctuary where shame and despair find no foothold. As we journey deeper into the psalm, we encounter a pivotal verse that resonates through the ages, bridging the ancient words with the pulse of our contemporary hearts. Psalm 35 becomes a poignant anthem of surrender and trust. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Deliver me, Lord, my faithful God. These words echo the sentiments of Jesus on the cross, underscoring a profound connection between humanity and divinity. Into your hands is a relinquishment, an act of placing one's very essence, the spirit, into the hands of the Creator. It is an acknowledgement of God's faithfulness, a recognition that, in His hands, our spirits find a safe harbor. This verse mirrors the prayerful surrender of control, a surrender not born out of weakness, but from an understanding that true strength arises in yielding to the one who holds the universe in his hands. The psalmist's plea for deliverance is an affirmation that in God's righteousness lies the assurance of protection. In times of distress, when the tempests of life threaten to overwhelm, these verses invite us to emulate the psalmist's courageous trust. They prompt us to consider the refuge found in entrusting our spirits to the faithful God whose righteousness becomes a shield in our moments of vulnerability. As we unpack the layers of Psalm 31 verse 1 to 5, let us reflect on our own journey of seeking refuge and trusting in God's protection. May we find inspiration in the unwavering faith exhibited by the psalmist, recognizing that, in our surrender, we discover a refuge that transcends the temporal and anchors us in the eternal. As we immerse ourselves in the rich tapestry of trust and refuge woven by Psalm 31, the scriptures beckon us to explore kindred verses that echo the same timeless truths. These verses, drawn from the sacred pages of Proverbs and Psalms, serve as complementary threads, weaving a narrative of unwavering trust in the divine. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your understanding. In the treasury of Proverbs, we uncover a gem that illuminates the path of trust, a path paved not by our own understanding, but by the unwavering confidence in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart is an invitation to wholeheartedly rely on the wisdom and providence of God. It challenges us to relinquish the limitations of our understanding, acknowledging that God's ways transcend our finite comprehension. As we navigate the complexities of life, this verse becomes a guiding beacon urging us to place our trust in the one whose understanding surpasses all. Psalm 91 unveils a poetic anthem of refuge, resonating in harmony with the sentiments expressed in Psalm 31. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. These words become a confession, a proclamation of faith that reverberates through the corridors of time. The psalmist's declaration encapsulates the essence of finding shelter in God, a refuge not contingent on circumstance, but anchored in the character of the Almighty. This verse extends an invitation to echo the proclamation in our own lives, affirming that, indeed, the Lord is our refuge, our fortress, and the object of our unwavering trust. In tandem, these verses paint a mosaic of trust, a trust that transcends the uncertainties of our understanding and seeks refuge in the timeless and unchanging nature of God. They call us to embrace a profound reliance, acknowledging that our hearts find their true rest in the One who is both our refuge and the source of unshakable trust. As we continue our exploration of Psalm 31, let us allow the resonance of these related verses to deepen our understanding, reinforcing the foundation of trust and refuge that the scriptures tenderly offer. In the heart of Psalm 31, we encounter a poignant section that mirrors the raw human experience of grappling with challenges, adversity, and the weariness that accompanies the journey. Psalm 31, 9, 13 beckons us into a sacred space where the psalmist lays bare the depths of distress, yet amidst the turmoil, 
A resilient spirit emerges, a spirit fortified by courage and faith. The psalmist's plea reverberates through the ages, encapsulating a universal cry uttered in the crucible of human suffering. Be merciful to me, Lord, for I am in distress is a vulnerable admission, an acknowledgement that distress has woven its threads into the fabric of the psalmist's existence. In the tapestry of our lives, we too may find ourselves entangled in the threads of sorrow and grief, and in these moments, the psalmist becomes a kindred spirit, voicing the anguished prayers of our own hearts. Amidst the turmoil, a profound truth unfolds, that courage is not the absence of distress, but the unwavering resolve to face it with faith. The psalmist's honesty in expressing the weakening of eyes, soul, and body is a powerful reminder that it is okay to acknowledge our vulnerabilities. Yet in the same breath, the psalmist exemplifies a courage rooted in a firm belief in the merciful nature of God. Related verses, Isaiah 41, 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Joshua 1, 9. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Reflection. In times of distress, the psalmist's prayer becomes an anthem for our own souls. It invites us to confront challenges with open hearts, recognizing that vulnerability is not synonymous with weakness. In the face of adversity, we are called to embody a courage fortified by faith, a courage that declares, though I may be distressed, my trust in the mercy of the Lord remains unshaken. As we navigate the landscape of Psalm 31, 9 to 13, May we find solace in the shared humanity of the psalmist and draw strength from the enduring promise that even in distress, God's mercy is a wellspring of courage for our weary souls. As we delve deeper into the sacred verses of Psalm 31, we find ourselves traversing a terrain familiar to every human spirit, the landscape of facing challenges with unwavering courage. In verses 9 to 13, the psalmist's words resonate with the raw authenticity of one acquainted with distress and grief yet fortified by an unyielding spirit. The psalmist's plea unfolds in these verses, a poignant cry from the depths of distress. Be merciful to me, Lord, for I am in distress. My eyes grow weak with sorrow, my soul and body with grief. Psalm 31, verse 9. This heartfelt admission acknowledges the human experience of anguish, a universal reality that finds solace in the divine mercy. The psalmist's vulnerability becomes a testament, a proclamation that, even in the throes of distress, the divine presence remains a beacon of hope. In verse 10, the psalmist vividly captures the toll of adversity on the senses. My life is consumed by anguish and my years by groaning. My strength fails because of my affliction and my bones grow weak. The imagery painted here is one of profound struggle, where the weight of affliction bears down on the very core of the psalmist's being. Yet amid this struggle, a resilient thread emerges a thread woven with courage and an unwavering trust in the divine. The resonance of Psalm 31 finds echoes in the wisdom of other scriptures, reinforcing the call to face challenges with courage. 1. Joshua 1, 9, the divine command of courage. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. This divine directive, spoken to Joshua as he faced the daunting task of leading the Israelites into the Promised Land, transcends time and circumstance. It stands as a timeless proclamation, encouraging us to embrace strength and courage in the face of challenges. The assurance that the Lord is with us, regardless of our journey's terrain, becomes the anchor that steadies our resolve. 2. Isaiah 41, 10, Divine Presence Amid Fear So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. Isaiah 41, 10. In moments of fear and dismay, Isaiah's words resonate as a divine promise. The creator of the universe declares his perpetual presence, dispelling the shadows of trepidation. This verse is an anthem of reassurance, inviting us to confront challenges with a courageous heart, knowing that the God who is with us is greater than any adversity we may face. As we synchronize the harmonies of Psalm 31 with the cadences of Joshua 1 verse 9 and Isaiah 41 10, a resounding melody emerges, 
a melody that emboldens the human spirit to face challenges not with timidity, but with the audacity of courage, grounded in the unwavering assurance of the divine presence. Amid the tapestry of challenges depicted in Psalm 31, a radiant thread of joy emerges, weaving through verses 14-18. In this segment of the psalm, the psalmist's expressions pivot from distress to a profound acknowledgement of trust, unveiling a theme that transcends circumstances, finding joy and gladness in the steadfast presence of the divine. In the heart of Psalm 31, the psalmist's voice resounds with a declaration of unwavering trust. But I trust in you, Lord, I say, you are my God, my times are in your hands. Psalm 31, 14, 15. These verses become a threshold to a sanctuary of joy, a place where trust in the divine transforms the narrative from despair to exultation. The journey into joy begins with a resolute declaration of trust. The psalmist, having traversed the valleys of distress, stands on the solid ground of confidence in the Lord. You are my God is not a mere affirmation. It is an intimate acknowledgement of a personal relationship with the divine. In this relationship, the psalmist finds the bedrock of trust, a trust that becomes the wellspring of joy. My times are in your hands, resonates as both surrender and affirmation. It is an acknowledgement that the unfolding of life with its seasons of joy and sorrow is intricately held in the hands of the divine. In this recognition, there is freedom and emancipation from the burden of navigating life's journey alone. The hands that cradle our times are hands of wisdom, love, and purpose, inviting us to find joy in the divine orchestration of our existence. These verses extend an invitation to explore joy not as a fleeting emotion dependent on external circumstances, but as a deep well within the soul, a well that springs forth when trust in the divine becomes the foundation of our being. To enrich our exploration of joy in God's presence, let us draw inspiration from related verses that resonate with the theme. 1 Psalm 16, 11. The fullness of joy. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Psalm 16, 11. This verse becomes a companion to Psalm 31, emphasizing that joy is not merely a fleeting emotion, but a profound revelation experienced in the divine presence. The psalmist acknowledges that true and lasting joy is found in the path of life illuminated by the divine and in the eternal pleasures that flow from God's right hand. 2. Nehemiah 8 verse 10. The joy of the Lord as strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Nehemiah 8 10. Nehemiah's proclamation adds a transformative dimension to our understanding of joy. It is not just a subjective emotion, but a source of divine strength. As we find joy in God's presence, we simultaneously discover a reservoir of strength to navigate life's challenges. In the interplay of Psalm 31, 14 to 15, Psalm 16, 11, and Nehemiah 8, verse 10, a narrative unfolds, a narrative of finding joy that surpasses circumstances, emanating from the deep wells of trust in the divine and culminating in the realization that the joy of the Lord is an enduring strength. This section of Psalm 31 invites us to explore the depths of joy that unfold when we trust in God, affirming that even in the ebb and flow of life, the divine presence is a constant source of abiding joy. As we journey through the sacred verses of Psalm 31, we enter a sanctum within the psalmist's heart, a place where the theme shifts from distress to a resounding affirmation of trust, leading to the discovery of joy in the unwavering presence of the divine. In the heart of Psalm 31, the psalmist's voice rings out with an unwavering declaration of trust. But I trust in you, Lord, I say, you are my God. My times are in your hands. Psalm 31, 14 to 15. These verses mark a pivotal moment, a transition from the shadows of distress to the radiant light of trust. And in this transformation, the psalmist uncovers the wellspring of joy. The journey into joy commences with a resolute declaration of trust. It is a proclamation that echoes through the corridors of the soul. You are my God. This is not a casual acknowledgement. It is an intimate recognition of a personal relationship with the divine, a relationship that becomes the bedrock of trust. In this sacred bond, the psalmist finds the antidote to despair and the source of enduring joy. My times are in your hands, resonates as both surrender and affirmation. It is an acknowledgement that the ebb and flow of life with its seasons of joy and sorrow 
is intricately held in the hands of the divine. In this recognition, there is liberation, a release from the burden of navigating life's journey alone. The hands that cradle our times are hands of wisdom, love, and purpose, inviting us to find joy in the divine orchestration of our existence. As we immerse ourselves in these verses, we discover joy not as a fleeting emotion contingent on external circumstances, but as an abiding state of the soul, a state that springs forth when trust in the divine becomes the foundation of our being. To illuminate and enrich our exploration of joy in God's presence, let us turn to related verses that harmonize with the psalmist's theme. 1. Psalm 16, 11. Illumination of the Path of Life. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Psalm 16, 11. This verse serves as a companion to Psalm 31, resonating with the idea that joy is not merely a fleeting emotion, but a profound revelation experienced in the Divine Presence. The psalmist acknowledges that true and lasting joy is found in the path of life illuminated by the Divine and in the eternal pleasures that flow from God's right hand. Number 2. Nehemiah 8 verse 10. The joy of the Lord is strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Nehemiah 8 10. Nehemiah's proclamation adds a transformative dimension to our understanding of joy. It is not just a subjective emotion, but a source of divine strength. As we find joy in God's presence, we simultaneously discover a reservoir of strength to navigate life's challenges. In the harmonious interplay of Psalm 31, 14 to 15, Psalm 16, 11, and Nehemiah 8, 10, a narrative unfolds, a narrative of finding joy that surpasses circumstances, emanating from the deep wells of trust in the divine and culminating in the realization that the joy of the Lord is an enduring strength. This sacred triad of verses invites us to explore the depths of joy that unfold when we trust in God, affirming that even in the ebb and flow of life, the divine presence is a constant source of abiding joy. In the concluding verses of Psalm 31, we encounter a resounding call, a call that transcends the individual journey of trust and beckons towards a collective responsibility. It is a call to encourage others to join in the symphony of trust, forging a community bound by the unwavering hope in the divine. The psalmist, having traversed the depths of personal anguish and having found refuge in the divine, now extends an olive branch of encouragement to others. In verses 19 to 24, a narrative unfolds, a narrative that discusses not just personal salvation, but the communal responsibility of fostering trust in God. Verse 19 serves as a testament to the abundance of God's goodness. How abundant are the good things that you have stored up for those who fear you, that you bestow in the sight of all on those who take refuge in you. The psalmist, having tasted the richness of divine favor, becomes a herald of hope. The bounty of God's goodness is not meant to be hoarded, but shared, creating a ripple effect that reverberates through the community. The subsequent verses emphasize the contrast between the fate of those who trust in God and those who trust in worldly pursuits. The psalmist portrays God as a protective fortress for those who seek refuge. In contrast, those who put their trust in transient material wealth are depicted as vulnerable and fleeting, like a city with walls that can crumble. To deepen our understanding of the responsibility of encouraging others to trust in God, let us turn to related verses that echo this communal call. 1. 1 Thessalonians 5.11 The Ministry of Encouragement Therefore encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. 1 Thessalonians 5.11 The Apostle Paul, in his letter to the Thessalonians, underscores the importance of mutual encouragement within the community of believers. This verse becomes a companion to Psalm 31, affirming that the act of encouraging others in their faith is not just a commendable endeavor, but an essential aspect of communal life. 2. Hebrews 10, 23. Unswerving hope. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. Hebrews 10, 23. The author of Hebrews encapsulates the essence of enduring hope in God's promises. This verse resonates with the theme of Psalm 31, 24, encouraging believers to cling steadfastly to the hope they profess. The communal aspect is implicit, emphasizing a collective commitment to unswerving hope. Synthesis and communal responsibility, Psalm 31, 24, 
encapsulates the communal responsibility that arises from an individual's trust in God. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. This is not a solitary exhortation, but a rallying cry, inviting others to draw strength and courage from the well of hope in the Lord. It is a call to build a community where the collective heartbeat is synchronized with the rhythm of trust in God. In weaving together Psalm 31, 19, 24, with 1 Thessalonians 5:11 and Hebrews 10, 23, a tapestry of communal encouragement unfolds. The responsibility is clear to encourage one another, build each other up, and hold unswervingly to the hope in the faithful promises of God. This section beckons believers not to hoard the treasure of trust, but to become conduits, channeling the abundant goodness of God to all who seek refuge. It is a call to be beacons of encouragement, illuminating the path of trust for others in the collective journey of faith. As we conclude our odyssey through the transformative verses of Psalm 31, let's take a moment to reflect on the profound themes that have woven together the tapestry of trust, courage, joy, and communal encouragement. In Psalm 31, we have embarked on a journey, a journey that traverses the spectrum of human experience. The psalmist, amidst distress, found refuge in the divine harbor, exemplifying the essence of trust. Through adversity, the call to face challenges with courage echoed, resonating with the divine commands in Joshua 1.9 and Isaiah 41.10. The sanctuary of joy in God's presence unfolded, with Psalm 16's 11 and Nehemiah 8.10 providing harmonious echoes. Finally, the communal responsibility of encouraging others to trust in God emerged, linking arms with the exhortations in 1 Thessalonians 5.11 and Hebrews 10.23. As we stand at the precipice of conclusion, let the timeless words of Numbers 6, 24 to 26 resonate in our hearts. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. These words are not just a benediction. They are a celestial embrace, an invocation of divine favor, grace, and peace. Let them linger in the recesses of your soul a beacon of assurance as you navigate the paths ahead. In these closing moments, I extend an invitation, a call to reflection and prayer. As the echoes of Psalm 31 linger in your heart, take a few moments to ponder the transformative message encapsulated in these verses. Let the truths discovered in this sacred journey seep into the depths of your soul. In the quietude that follows, let prayer become a dialogue, an intimate conversation with the divine. Speak your hopes, your fears, and your gratitude. Let the sacred whispers of your heart be heard in the vast expanse of the divine presence. This odyssey through Psalm 31 is not merely an exploration of ancient verses. It is an invitation to make these verses the compass of our lives. As we navigate the labyrinth of existence, may the echoes of trust, courage, joy, and communal encouragement resound in our hearts inspiring us to be beacons of light for others on their own journeys of faith. As we stand at the culmination of our exploration through the profound verses of Psalm 31, let the echoes of trust, courage, joy, and communal encouragement reverberate within the chambers of your heart. The journey we've undertaken is not merely a poetic stroll through ancient verses. It is an invitation to anchor your soul in the timeless wisdom encapsulated in the psalmist's words. In the tapestry of life, threads of trust are the foundation that supports every step. As the psalmist proclaimed, In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Psalm 31, 1. Let this declaration be your anthem. Amidst the uncertainties, trials, and storms that life may unfold, may your trust in the divine be unshaken. Remember, the refuge found in God's embrace is an anchor that holds firm even in the fiercest tempests. The psalmist in the crucible of distress found courage not in the absence of challenges, but in the enduring presence of the divine. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord, Psalm 31, 24. This is your rallying cry. When faced with daunting circumstances, let courage surge within you. Draw strength from the well of hope, knowing that the God who commands courage walks beside you in every step of your journey. As you traverse the diverse landscapes of life, discover the joy that springs from trust in God's unwavering promises. You will fill me with joy in your presence, Psalm 16, 11. Embrace joy not as a fleeting emotion, but as a state of the soul, 
a radiant light that emanates from the Divine Presence. In moments of despair, let the joy of the Lord be your strength, Nehemiah 8.10, empowering you to overcome adversity with resilience and grace. Extend the hand of encouragement to those around you, inviting them to join in the symphony of trust. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11. In your journey, be a beacon for others navigating their paths. Your encouragement can be a lifeline, a source of strength, and a reminder of the communal bonds that knit our souls together. May the blessings of Numbers 6, 24 to 26 etch themselves upon your heart. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Receive these divine benedictions as a cloak of divine favor, embracing you with grace, illuminating your path, and enveloping you in a profound peace that surpasses understanding. As you continue your journey, remember that Psalm 31 is not just a chapter in the ancient script. It is a living testament, an enduring narrative that unfolds within the pages of your life. In every challenge, find refuge. In every adversity, summon courage. In every joy, recognize the divine presence and in every encounter, be an agent of encouragement. May your soul resonate with the timeless melodies of trust, courage, joy, and communal encouragement found in Psalm 31. May these echoes guide you, inspire you, and infuse your journey with a profound sense of purpose and divine connection. May your trust be unwavering, your courage steadfast, your joy abounding, and your encouragement a gift to all who walk alongside you. Amen. Let's talk about how Psalm 31 can help us in navigating real-life challenges that we face daily. This is for you if you are facing shame and regret. At this juncture, I wish to embark on a conversation about a universal struggle, overcoming shame and regret. Our guiding light comes from Psalm 31.1, a timeless passage that invites us to seek refuge in the Lord and trust in His righteousness. Life in all its intricate beauty, weaves a tapestry where joy and sorrow dance together. Yet there are moments when the shadows of our past mistakes cast a pall over the canvas of our souls. It's during these moments that Psalm 31.1 beckons us, whispering, In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. The challenge before us is profound. How to navigate the labyrinth of shame and regret that threatens to obscure the brilliance of our spirit. The answer lies in seeking refuge, not in fleeting distractions or worldly assurances, but in the embrace of the divine. Psalm 31.1 extends an invitation to find solace in the very source of our existence. Trusting in God's righteousness is a powerful antidote to the poison of regret. In a world that often measures worth by achievements and accolades, Psalm 31.1 offers a counter-narrative one that invites us to rest in the assurance that our deliverance comes from a righteousness far greater than our own. Now let's talk about the solution, forgiveness. It's a concept so simple yet profound that it requires a shift in perspective. Acknowledging our mistakes is the first courageous step towards healing. As we confront the echoes of our past, let's remember that God's mercy is not a distant concept, but a refuge a safe haven where our imperfections are met with boundless compassion. To embrace forgiveness is to allow God's righteousness to overshadow our past mistakes. Picture it as a radiant light, dispelling the darkness of shame. It's a conscious decision to let go of the heavy burdens we've been carrying, trusting that God's righteousness is greater than any stain on our soul. May the words of Psalm 31.1 resonate within us, guiding us towards a refuge of healing and a righteousness that knows no bounds. And if you are facing stress and anxiety, this is for you. Today, let our hearts be attuned to the whispers of grace, for in the tapestry of life, stress and anxiety are threads we all navigate. Yet fear not, for we embark on a conversation inspired by the timeless wisdom of Psalm 31, 14 to 15, a guide for those seeking solace, peace, and joy amidst life's tumultuous currents. In the hustle of our daily lives, stress and anxiety often knock on the doors of our hearts, seeking entry. Psalm 31, 14 to 15 tenderly calls us to entrust our times to the divine, offering a beacon of hope amid the chaos. But I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hands. The solution lies not in the absence of challenges, but in the way we navigate them. 
Mindfulness, a practice woven into the fabric of many spiritual traditions, becomes our compass. It invites us to be present in the moment, to breathe in deeply the assurance that God holds our times in His hands. As we tread the delicate path of life, uncertainties may cloud our vision, and anxieties may cast shadows on our spirit. Yet, Psalm 31:15 reassures us, My times are in your hands. Trusting God's control over our circumstances is a balm for the anxious soul. It's an acknowledgement that every moment, every challenge, is under the watchful care of a loving Creator. The rhythm of joy is often drowned out by the cacophony of stress, yet Psalm 31 invites us to rediscover joy in God's constant presence. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. In the sanctuary of His company, joy becomes a melody that transcends the dissonance of anxiety. Practice mindful breathing. Inhale the peace of God. Exhale the weight of stress. Daily surrender your times to God. Let go of the illusion of control and embrace the peace that comes with trusting a higher power. Choose presence over perfection. In the midst of busyness, pause and be present, for joy often blooms in the soil of a mindful heart. Dear friends, may Psalm 31, 14, 15 be etched upon our hearts as a guiding light in the labyrinth of stress and anxiety. Let us walk this path together, mindful of each step trusting in the divine hands that hold our times. In this journey, may you find peace like a gentle stream and joy like a melody that transcends the noise. Remember, you are not alone. Your times are held in the hands of a God who cares. And if you are facing financial struggles, I will say this to you. Gathered in the sanctuary of hope, let our spirits unite as we confront a challenge faced by many, the tempest of financial struggles. Today, our guiding light emanates from the wisdom encapsulated in Psalm 31, 24, offering strength and encouragement to those weathering the storms of economic uncertainty. In the ebb and flow of life, financial hardships can cast shadows on our paths, testing the mettle of our spirits. Psalm 31, 24 stands as a beacon, urging us, be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. The road of financial struggle is undoubtedly rugged, with obstacles that may seem insurmountable. Yet, the psalmist calls us to draw strength not from our circumstances, but from the wellspring of hope found in the Lord. Be strong, echoes the scripture, inviting us to find resilience in our core. Resilience, like a sturdy vessel, helps us navigate the tumultuous waters of financial uncertainty. It's the ability to bend but not break, to weather the storms and emerge stronger. As we face the unknown, let resilience be our companion, shaping us into individuals who withstand the fiercest winds. In the heart of financial struggles, trust becomes our anchor. Psalm 31, 24 encourages us to take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. Trust not only in His providence, but also in His perfect timing. The seeds of provision are sown in the soil of patience and trust. The solution lies not just in hope, but in the practicality of wise financial stewardship. Seek guidance in managing your finances wisely. Budget diligently, save intentionally, and discern the difference between needs and wants. Let your financial decisions be guided by principles that align with the teachings of wisdom. Craft a budget that aligns with your values and priorities. Every dollar spent is an investment in your well-being and future. Establish an emergency fund as a safety net. It's a reservoir of peace in times of unexpected financial storms. Don't hesitate to seek financial advice. Whether from a trusted advisor or community resources, wisdom is often found in collective insight. Dear friends, Psalm 3124 is not just a verse. It's a lifeline in the journey of financial struggles. Be strong, take heart, and let hope unfurl its wings within your hearts. May you emerge from this season with a testimony of resilience, a deeper trust in God's provision, and the wisdom to navigate the financial seas with grace. I will say this to those health challenges. As we stand at the intersection of vulnerability and strength, our hearts are attuned to the symphony of those facing health challenges. Today, let us embark on a journey guided by the comforting verses of Psalm 31 2, where our prayers become whispers for quick rescue and our spirits find solace in the divine. In the tapestry of life, Health challenges often become the unexpected threads that test our resilience. Psalm 31 2 resonates with the cry of the afflicted, pleading for God's ear to incline toward their prayers. 
Turn your ear to me, come quickly to my rescue. Be my rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me. When health becomes a battlefield and uncertainty clouds our horizons, Psalm 31 too becomes a refuge, a sacred space where our cries for quick rescue find resonance in the divine ear. It's an affirmation that our pleas are heard, that the Creator leans in to listen to the heartbeat of our prayers. The solution lies not in an either-or dichotomy, but in the harmonious blend of faith and medical care. Psalm 31, too, invites us to seek God's healing while entrusting our health into His hands. Medical science becomes a vessel, and faith infuses it with a transcendent power, a divine synergy that charts the course to recovery. To entrust one's health into God's hands is an act of profound surrender. It's a recognition that, Amidst the complexities of medical diagnoses and treatment plans, there exists a healing force beyond our understanding. Psalm 31, 2 teaches us to lay our burdens at the feet of the Divine Healer. Cultivate a daily practice of prayer and meditation. Allow the whispers of hope to permeate your spirit, bringing comfort and strength. Work collaboratively with healthcare professionals. Communicate openly, share your faith journey, and allow them to be partners in both your medical and spiritual well-being. Seek support from a community of faith. Let the love and encouragement of fellow believers be a source of strength and comfort. Dear friends, as we traverse the terrain of health challenges, may Psalm 31 too be etched upon our hearts, a melody of hope in the midst of trials. Turn your ear, O Lord, and come quickly to our rescue. May this journey be one of not just physical recovery, but a holistic healing a restoration of body, mind, and spirit. If today you are going through betrayal and broken relationships, may your spirit converge in the sanctuary of hope, acknowledging the profound challenge of dealing with betrayal and broken relationships. In the echoes of Psalm 31.8, we find a refuge, a fortress in God, inviting us to unravel the threads of forgiveness, divine protection, and the strength that mends and guides fractured connections. In the intricate tapestry of relationships, betrayal and brokenness can be the thorns that pierce the fabric of our hearts. Psalm 31, 8 resonates with the cry of the wounded. You have not given me into the hands of the enemy, but have set my feet in a spacious place. Amidst the wreckage of shattered trust, Psalm 31, 8 becomes a fortress a place of safety where the brokenhearted can seek refuge. It's an acknowledgement that though the ground may feel shaky beneath our feet, God sets us in a spacious place, a haven where healing can unfold. The solution is not a simple formula, but a journey infused with grace, forgiveness, and the recognition of God's protective embrace. In Psalm 31.8, we discover a roadmap for healing, guiding us through the labyrinth of emotions, Forgiveness is a balm that soothes the wounds of betrayal. It's not a dismissal of pain, but a courageous choice to release the grip of resentment. As we navigate broken relationships, let forgiveness be the salve that fosters healing and paves the way for reconciliation. Psalm 31.8 reassures us that God does not deliver us into the hands of the enemy. In the face of betrayal, it's an affirmation that divine protection surrounds us. Acknowledge this shield of grace, finding solace in the certainty that God guards your heart. The strength to mend and guide relationships comes not from our own reserves, but from the wellspring of divine strength. As we stand amidst the ruins of broken connections, lean into the omnipotence of God, allowing His strength to be the anchor that restores and guides. Take a reflective pause to assess your own emotions and perspectives. Allow God's wisdom to guide your reflections. Initiate open and honest communication. Seek understanding, express your feelings, and be receptive to the other person's experiences. Seek counsel from trusted spiritual advisors or therapists. Surround yourself with a supportive community that fosters healing and growth. Dear friends, as we navigate the tumultuous terrain of betrayal and broken relationships, let Psalm 31.8 be our anthem a melody of hope in the midst of discord. May forgiveness be the bridge that spans the chasms, divine protection be the shield that guards our hearts, and the strength of God be the guiding force that lead us, us toward restoration and on finding direction in life. In the tapestry of existence, we often find ourselves at crossroads, seeking the elusive path that leads to purpose and fulfillment. Today, let us embark on a collective exploration inspired by the wisdom of Psalm 31.3, 3, 
a compass that points to divine guidance and righteousness. Life's journey is a labyrinth, and finding the right direction can be a daunting challenge. Psalm 31 verse 3 echoes with the plea of those seeking purpose. Since you are my rock and my fortress, for the sake of your name, lead and guide me. In the verses of Psalm 31 3, we discover a guiding star, a reminder that God is our rock, our fortress. It's an acknowledgement that in the vast expanse of uncertainty, we can turn to the divine for guidance. God's name becomes the North Star, leading us through the uncharted territories of life. How do we unlock this divine guidance encoded in Psalm 31 3? The solution is a tapestry woven with threads of prayer, reflection, and unwavering trust in God's plan. Prayer becomes our conversation with the Divine Navigator. In moments of solitude, pour out your heart, share your aspirations, and seek guidance through earnest prayer. Let your desires and uncertainties be laid bare before the one who intricately knows the roadmap of your life. In the hustle and bustle of life, take a pause to reflect on your personal values. What matters most to you? What ignites your passion? Psalm 31.3 urges us to align our direction with God's righteousness. In the stillness of reflection, discover the values that resonate with the divine compass. Trust is the adhesive that binds our journey. As we navigate life's twists and turns, trust in God's plan. Psalm 31.3 is an assurance that, under the shadow of the Almighty, we can surrender to a plan far grander than our understanding. Trust becomes the cornerstone of our pilgrimage. Incorporate daily moments of prayer into your routine. Create a sacred space for communion with the divine. Keep a journal to capture your reflections. Write down your goals, aspirations, and the values that define your journey. Seek guidance from mentors and spiritual advisors. Surround yourself with individuals whose wisdom aligns with the principles of righteousness. Dear companions on this journey, let Psalm 31.3 be the lantern that illuminates your path. May you find solace in the knowledge that under the guidance of the divine, your journey is purposeful and your steps are ordered with righteousness. As we venture forth, may the echoes of this psalm resonate in our hearts. A melody of trust, a cadence of reflection, and a symphony of divine guidance. Should you be looking for a way to combating loneliness, this is a good message for you. In the quiet corners of our hearts, loneliness can cast a shadow and the echoes of isolation can be deafening. Today, let us weave a tapestry of connection and hope, inspired by Psalm 3121, a revelation that God's presence is a steadfast companion, even in the depths of solitude. Loneliness, like a silent visitor, can weave its way into the fabric of our lives. Psalm 31 verse 21 resonates with the cry of those grappling with solitude. Praise be to the Lord, for he showed me the wonders of his love when I was in a city under siege. In the verses of Psalm 31, 21, we encounter a beacon of hope, a reminder that even in the metaphorical city under siege, God reveals the wonders of his love. Loneliness becomes an opportunity to witness the extraordinary love that transcends human connections. How do we combat the isolating tendrils of loneliness? The solution is found in the rich soil of community, meaningful relationships, and the unwavering assurance of God's constant company. Community is the antidote to loneliness. Engage in gatherings both virtual and physical where hearts connect and shared experiences become the bridge to friendship. Psalm 31, 21 teaches us that the wonders of God's love can manifest through the warmth of community. Loneliness withers in the presence of meaningful relationships. Cultivate connections that go beyond surface interactions. Share your joys and sorrows, be a listening ear and allow others to accompany you on this journey. God's wonders of love unfold in the tapestry of human relationships. While human companionship is vital, Psalm 31:21 assures us of a divine presence that surpasses all. In moments of solitude, find solace in the company of God. Prayer becomes a conversation with the eternal friend who walks beside you, unraveling the wonders of love in the quietude. Explore social groups, both online and offline, aligned with your interests and passions. Shared activities create natural avenues for connection. Volunteering is a powerful way to meet like-minded individuals and contribute to a cause larger than yourself. Set aside moments each day for reflection and prayer. Allow these moments to be a sacred space where you connect with the divine presence. Dear friends, let Psalm 3021 
be a melody that resonates in the chambers of your heart. May you find courage in the knowledge that in the city under siege, the wonders of God's love are revealed and companionship, both human and divine, awaits. As we combat loneliness together, may the tapestry of connection be woven with threads of love, community, and the enduring presence of the divine. In our lives, grief and loss can be an unexpected storm, tearing through the fabric of our existence. Today, let us navigate the challenging terrain of grief inspired by Psalm 30 Wonders 9, a prayer for God's mercy and comfort in times of profound distress. Grief is a labyrinth, and in Psalm 31 9, we hear the raw and honest plea of those grappling with its overwhelming weight. Be merciful to me, Lord, for I am in distress. My eyes grow weak with sorrow, my soul and body with grief. In the verses of Psalm 31 9, we discover a balm for the wounded soul, a prayer that echoes through time, acknowledging the depth of sorrow and seeking divine mercy. It's an invitation to a healing journey where God's comfort becomes the salve for the wounds of grief. How do we navigate the tumultuous waters of grief? The solution lies in the sacred art of mourning, the solace found in prayer, and the unwavering trust in God's ability to heal the brokenhearted. Grief is a journey, not a destination. Allow yourself the grace to mourn, to feel the depth of sorrow, and to embrace the waves of emotion that come. Psalm 31 9 teaches us that acknowledging our distress is the first step toward healing. In the silence of grief, prayer becomes a sanctuary for the soul. Speak to the divine with vulnerability, share the memories, and seek comfort in the presence of a God who listens. Psalm 31 9 is an affirmation that God's mercy is a refuge in the darkest valleys of grief. Grief can feel like an unending night, but trust in the promise that joy comes in the morning. Trust in God's ability to heal the brokenhearted and mend the shattered pieces. Psalm 31 9 invites us to surrender our distress to a God who is both compassionate and mighty. Create a sacred space for reflection. Dedicate a space in your daily routine for reflection and prayer. It can be a corner in your home or a quiet moment before bedtime. Share your grief with trusted friends and family. Allow their support to be a pillar of strength during challenging times. Engage in creative activities that allow you to express your emotions. Whether through art, writing, or music, find a channel for your grief to flow. Dear companions on this journey through grief, let Psalm 31 verse 9 be a guiding light, a reminder that in distress, God's mercy is a constant companion. As you navigate the landscape of loss, may your healing be a tapestry woven with threads of mourning, prayer, and the gentle touch of divine comfort. If you're looking to build building resilience in adversity, continue listening. Life's journey often takes us through challenging landscapes, testing the very fabric of our strength. Today, let us embark on a conversation inspired by Psalm 31, 24, a beacon of hope urging us to stay strong and take heart in the Lord's unwavering hope. Adversity, like tempestuous seas, can threaten to engulf us. In Psalm 31, 24, we hear the resounding call to face adversity with strength and courage. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. In these words, we discover an anthem of resilience, a call to stand firm, take heart, and navigate the storms with an unwavering hope in the Lord. Psalm 31, 24 becomes our rallying cry in the face of adversity. How do we nurture resilience in the crucible of adversity? The solution lies in the fertile ground of faithfulness, a positive mindset, and the supportive embrace of a community that understands the journey. In every trial, trust in the unwavering faithfulness of God. Psalm 31, 24 is an invitation to anchor our resilience in the belief that God's promises are a firm foundation. Even in adversity, His hope becomes our anchor. Resilience is often born from the seeds of a positive mindset. In the face of challenges, cultivate thoughts that uplift and inspire. Psalm 31, 24 encourages us to take heart, knowing that a positive outlook can light the path through adversity. No journey is meant to be traversed alone. Reach out to those who share your faith and values. Build a community of support that echoes the spirit of Psalm 31, 24, reminding you to be strong together. Begin each day with affirmations that reinforce your strength and hope. Psalm 31, 24 can be a source of inspiration for these affirmations. Keep a journal to document your thoughts and reflections during challenging times. It 
becomes a record of your journey and a testament to your resilience. Join faith-based groups or communities that provide a safe space for sharing experiences and supporting one another. Dear Warriors of Hope, let Psalm 31, 24 resonate within the chambers of your heart. In the face of adversity, be strong and take heart, for the Lord is your anchor. May your journey be a tapestry woven with threads of resilience, positivity, and the unwavering hope found in His promises. In the tapestry of our emotions, anger and bitterness can be thorns that threaten the garden of our souls. Today, let us embark on a journey inspired by Psalm 31, 6, a guiding light for those navigating the turbulent waters of anger, trusting in the Lord's righteousness for justice. Anger, like a tempest, can cloud our judgment and sow seeds of bitterness. In Psalm 31, 6, we hear the call to anchor our response to injustice in the Lord's righteousness. I hate those who cling to worthless idols. I trust in the Lord. In the verses of Psalm 31, verse 6, we find a compass pointing toward a transformative journey. A journey where anger is tempered and bitterness is replaced with trust in the Lord's righteousness. How do we manage the flames of anger and bitterness? The solution lies in the sacred practices of forgiveness, releasing resentment through prayer, and trusting in God's wisdom to handle injustices. Forgiveness is a balm that heals the wounds of anger. In Psalm 31, 6, we are reminded to trust in the Lord and let go of the weight of hatred. Practice forgiveness as an act of liberation freeing yourself from the chains of bitterness. In the solitude of prayer, release the burdens of resentment. Share your feelings with the divine, acknowledging the pain and seeking strength to let go. Psalm 31, 6 is an affirmation that trusting in the Lord brings freedom from the shackles of bitterness. When faced with injustice, trust in God's wisdom to guide your response. Psalm 31, 6 encourages us to place our trust in the Lord recognizing that His righteousness will prevail. Let the divine compass navigate your journey through the storms of anger. Set aside moments for daily reflections on Psalm 31, 6. Let its wisdom guide your thoughts and actions, especially in moments of anger. Keep a forgiveness journal to document your journey toward letting go. Reflect on the progress made in releasing resentment. Connect with spiritual mentors or counselors who can provide guidance on managing anger from a faith-based perspective. Dear Pilgrims of Peace, let Psalm 31.6 be your compass in the storms of anger and bitterness. Trust in the Lord's righteousness, practice forgiveness, and release resentment through prayer. May your journey be a garden of peace amidst life's tempests. And if you have just been divorced, please know, life's journey often takes unexpected turns and sometimes we find ourselves traversing the challenging terrain of divorce. Today, let us embark on a heartfelt conversation, a testament to the resilience that resides within each of you, inspired by the wisdom found in Psalm 31 and the promise of hope beyond the shadows. Divorce, a poignant chapter in life, brings a unique set of challenges. It's a journey through emotional upheaval, questions of self-worth, and the daunting task of rebuilding a life that once felt complete. In the face of this challenge, Psalm 31 becomes a soothing melody, echoing the sentiments of seeking refuge and finding strength in the divine. Psalm 31 encapsulates the raw emotions experienced in the aftermath of a broken union. I am in distress. My eyes grow weak with sorrow, my soul and body with grief, Psalm 31, 9. These words resonate with the ache that accompanies the end of a marriage, providing solace in knowing that the divine understands the depth of your pain. How does one navigate the tumultuous seas of divorce and emerge stronger? The solution lies in a journey of self-discovery, rooted in faith, hope, and the unwavering promise of a brighter tomorrow. Acknowledge the grief that accompanies divorce. Psalm 31.9 encourages us to express our distress openly, recognizing that healing begins with embracing the depth of our emotions. Allow yourself the grace to grieve, for it is a vital step towards wholeness. You are not alone in this journey. Reach out to friends, family, or support groups who can be your pillars of strength. Psalm 31, 24 resonates as a call to be strong and take heart, knowing that a community of love and understanding surrounds you. Divorce can prompt a reevaluation of identity. Use this time to rediscover who you are outside the confines of a relationship. Psalm 31, 3 
guides us to trust in God's righteousness and let him lead us on the path of self-discovery. Keep a journal to document your feelings and reflections. Psalm 31 can be a guide for expressing your innermost thoughts. Seek professional counseling or therapy to navigate the complexities of divorce. A trained guide can provide valuable insights and tools for healing. Immerse yourself in spiritual practices that bring solace. Prayer, meditation, and seeking spiritual guidance can be anchors in the storm. Dear survivors of heartache, let Psalm 31 be your anthem of resilience. In the aftermath of divorce, trust that a new chapter awaits, one filled with self-discovery, healing, and the promise of hope. You are not defined by the end of one chapter, but by the strength with which you begin the next. May your journey be filled with grace and the assurance that, even in the midst of change, a tapestry of hope is being woven. Let us conclude with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, as we gather in the embrace of your presence, we come before you with hearts open wide, seeking solace and strength. Today we draw inspiration from the timeless words of Psalm 31, a psalm that echoes the depths of human experience and the unwavering hope found in you. Gracious Lord, in you we take refuge. We echo the words of Psalm 31, 1. In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Wrap your loving arms around each listener, offering a sanctuary of peace in the midst of life's storms. Faithful God, we commit our spirits into your hands, just as the psalmist declared in Psalm 31, 5, into your hands I commit my spirit. Deliver me, Lord, my faithful God. In times of uncertainty, may our trust in your unwavering protection be a source of unwavering strength. Lord of courage, as we navigate challenges and adversities, may your mercy be our guiding light. Psalm 31, 9 reminds us, be merciful to me, Lord, for I am in distress. Grant us the courage to face trials with unwavering faith, knowing that your mercy is our anchor. God of joy, we declare with confidence, but I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God, Psalm 31, 14. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. May the hearts of each listener find joy and gladness as they dwell in the beauty of your nearness. Lord of encouragement, instill in us the responsibility of encouraging others to trust in you. As Psalm 31, 24 declares, be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. Empower us to be beacons of hope for those around us. And now, Lord, we receive your blessing from number 6, 24, 26, which says, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. May the peace that surpasses all understanding be a guardian over your heart and mind, bringing tranquility to every corner of your being. As you step into the unfolding chapters of your life, may these blessings pave the way for a journey filled with grace, purpose, and an abundance of God's love. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.